Whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. agencies agree that one of the most difficult criminals to apprehend is the first offender, the man with no previous record, who plans to strike once, then disappear. On February 3rd, two such men set out to commit their version of the perfect crime. While doing so, they endangered the lives of hundreds of innocent people. On time. Yeah. I got lucky. Old man at own store invited me inside. Inside for what? Saw me looking around, so I gave him a song and dance about needing a new pair of shoelaces. You sure he didn't get suspicious? Nah. But he would have. I didn't think of something like that. You know, he wouldn't let me pay for the laces. Say so he didn't believe on doing business on Sundays. So what's he doing there? Taking inventory. Say so he did most of it last night. Did you get a good look at the safe? Yeah. Looks like it would be hard to crack. Not with what we're going to use. What's the matter? You sure there's over five grand in it? Look, I wouldn't have got you all the way up here if I wasn't sure. He keeps the money in there so he'll have it to cash the aircraft company payroll checks on Monday mornings. Any more questions? No. Now look, Frank, stop worrying. I know what I'm doing. I've had this thing planned for three weeks, ever since I found out where we could get the dynamite. I told you it sounded good. It's foolproof. Are you sure you remember what to do? Yeah. I follow you out to where we leave my car. From there we go in the truck. Right. Now, the watchman knows me. So you do the driving. After you take care of him, we get the dynamite. Right. Okay, let's go. Yes, sir. We'll let you know. What was that all about? Panel truck license 779430. The owner says it's been missing two days and wonders why I haven't found it. All right, what'd you tell him? Same thing I told him yesterday, that we're all doing our best. Just ahead.
Okay. Here's the invoice. Open right, the door. Come on. Oh, sure. Look, there's nothing in here. Open it. One. Yes, sir. Just give me a moment here. Now turn around. Mister. Turn around. Please. Come on. Come on. All right, Joe, come on. Just like I said. Yeah. Sure you know how to handle this stuff. Spent two years with it in the service, didn't I? Go on, grab a couple. Please. You better take this, Mr. Matthews. Thanks. Matthews. Oh, how much dynamite was taken? Did you get the license number of the truck? Oh. The description tallies with the one that was stolen from the Dumont Plumbing Company. I need to be on this right away. Look, who's your foreman, your boss? Who do I get in touch with in case of emergency? Mr. Sharp. George Sharp. Uh, 1456 Esley Road. All right, fine. Hold on. You pick Sharp up. I'll see you at the construction company. Right. Thanks very much. We'll be back in a big city before they find this one out here. 3016 to headquarters. Headquarters, bye. Picked on Mr. Sharp, the Merrill Construction Company foreman. We're leaving for their office. Inform 2150. 10-4. 10-4. Headquarters to 2150. 2150, I do not read you. Please call in. Dynamite caps. 
I think I better use my regular way. Fuse on a regular cap. These, these new ones are tricky. If I ever see the guy that did this, I'd know him right enough. Would you recognize the second guy? Never got a clear look at him. Well, he must have been in the truck. Could have been. I didn't see him. Oh, Mr. Sharp, this is Mr. Matthews. How do you do? You men work fast. I was trimming the hedge. Next thing I know, we're out on the highway. How do you feel, Henry? Pretty good, sir. You're going to be all right? Good as new. Fine. Understand they took some dynamite. Yes, sir. What about the detonator caps? Don't know. Better check those caps right now. Bad? They've taken enough to blow up a city block. Tell me something, what kind of dynamite are you using on this job? Bank powder, 40% ammonium nitrate. But I'm more concerned about these detonator caps. Why? We're using them up in Sand Canyon to set off the larger charges of dynamite. It's rough going. It'd be tricky getting out if we set a regular fuse. These nitro caps were wired yesterday to go off by radio signal. Radio? Oh, that's why I saw the sign on the road, radio. You can't use a radio transmitter in this area at all, right? That's right. If you were to turn on the transmitter in your car right now, this thing would blow my hand off. Imagine what would happen if there was some dynamite near it. In other words, any kind of a, a radio signal would set this thing off. Well, naturally, we have our own frequency, but these things are new and they're tricky. If they get within a few hundred yards of a strong signal, they'll go. And when they do, off goes the dynamite. Oh, thanks, Heaps. Shut down every radio transmitter in the area. Commercial jobs, ham radio operators, all of them. What about our patrol cars and headquarters? All of them. We can't use our radios. How are we going to communicate? Look, if those guys switch cars and start cruising alongside of us, we won't even know until we go up in pieces. We've got to find some way to warn these guys of the danger they're in. See, I'm at that radio station over in Grandway. Car radios pick it up here without any trouble. I can have headquarters call their manager, tell them to broadcast a warning every 15 minutes. A signal from there wouldn't be close enough to detonate those caps. Go to it. Why would they take that much explosive? I don't know, but I got a hunch we're going to find out. Operator, give me Highway Patrol headquarters. <laughs> we got it. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. deadly cargo of 37 nitroglycerin detonator caps and two cases of dynamite could be set off by a signal from almost any radio transmitter nearby, including those used in highway patrol cars, ambulances, and other vehicles equipped with two-way radios, the two criminals congratulated themselves, certain that they had committed the perfect crime. What's the matter? I just happened to think. Had my watch was probably given a description of me by now. So, male, five feet ten, black hair, 175 pounds. That description fits half the men in this town. Now, come on, I'll finish packing. We'll split the loot, get out of town casual like. No string, no pain. Who's there now? Safe at the Milford General store was blown ten minutes ago. Anybody seen leaving the store? Negative. No witnesses. All right, instruct all units to keep an eye out for the panel truck. Tell them not to use their radios under any circumstances. Ten four. They didn't waste any time. No, they're working fast. You got a list of your personnel handy addresses, phone numbers? Not out here. Personnel department's the main office in the city. Could you make one up for me? Well, could I suppose? I'll do that. I'll be back. Come on, let's get to town. Take it easy when we get back to the city. Start spending this too fast. Somebody's liable to get suspicious where you got it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Relax. We got nothing to worry about. Yes. Yes, that's fine. Thank you very much. I would throw just a moment, please. We've contacted all but three of the ham radio operators. They've shut down. The missing three show nobody home. 
Oh, that's great. That's all we need. Keep contacting them every two minutes. Let's hope they answer before they get in the air. I got it. Highway Patrol. Where? What about the dynamite? All right, keep calling every 15 minutes. Okay? Tell all units, stop looking for the paddle truck. 1330's found. He's going to bring it in. So they switch cars. That's a tough break. You know, it's funny. We don't know who or what we're looking for. Well, maybe they hear that broadcast from the station over in Granway. Well, tell me something. What about the roadblocks here? Well, all cars heading out of town are being stopped and searched. We've got 3540 and 3516 on the south road, 1450 on Highway 11. Between here and there. You know, if they make a run for it, we got a chance? Providing they still get the dynamite with them. Yeah. Notify all units in town. Check every car with two men in it. Check them out good. Yes, sir. We won't make many friends stopping all the townspeople. I have news for you. We can save a lot of lives. Well, when the units telephone in, better remind them, keep receivers open. There's no danger in that. If we find these guys, they may need some help in a hurry. Let's get on the road. Come on. To the thieves who stole several boxes of high explosives from the Merrill Construction Company. Your lives are in danger. Repeat. Your lives are in danger. The detonator caps will explode when near a radio transmitter. To save yourselves, call the highway patrol immediately. This warning will be broadcast every 15 minutes. Make deliveries. We don't get any regular deliveries. Gotta be somebody who knows this area pretty well. Knew there was a lot of money in that safe over the weekend. Knew where to get the stuff to open it. Could it be someone who works in that store? No, I don't think so. What about food? Everybody bring their lunches here? Some do. There's a caterer's truck, comes at lunchtime. Murdoch's. Murdoch's? That's the largest. Chances are he serves the factor near that general store, too. Do you know the driver? Not the new one. New one? Yeah, Joe, the regular man, hasn't shown up in about a week. We're gonna find out why right now. who stole several boxes of high explosives from the Merrill Construction Company. Joe, you hear that? Your lives are in danger. The detonator caps and dynamite stolen will explode when near any radio transmitter. To save yourselves, call the highway patrol immediately. We gotta get rid of that stuff. Think that broadcast is on the level? Could be. No. They want us to believe it. They want us to panic. It's their only hope of finding us. But, Joe, we... that stuff's so dangerous, why hasn't it gone off before this? I don't know. I don't know. Thanks. See you. You want me to drive? No, I'm okay. I'm okay. Talk to the manager of the catering company. What about Hodges having a car? He wasn't sure. Well, take a look at this. This cinches it. I'll talk to the neighbors. See if anybody saw him leave. Take off. This is Matthews. Hodges, our boy. Relate to all the units as they call in. You talking to headquarters? Yeah. The apartment manager saw Hodges and another man leave in a light green two-door sedan. 
How soon will the units on the South Road be phoning in? Any time now. What about the units on Highway 11? Not due for another 10 minutes. We can't wait that long. Our 1020 is the roadblock on Highway 11. Come on, let's go. Sedan. Yeah, that could be it. You gonna take a chance? I got him. 2150 to 1450. Don't use your transmitter, just listen to me. Suspect headed your way. Should be there within seconds. Come on, let's get on the move. Seen us already. It's too late. What are you gonna do? If he's after us, take care of him with this. All right, move away from the car. Keep your hands high. What? What's wrong, officer? Drop it, copper. Put a bullet in this dynamite and we'll all go up. Now drop it and move over there. Okay, what'll well, it be, copper? Move over there, I'll blow us all up. Okay. Okay. Frank, get his car out of the way. chance. Give up, Hodges. You give up, coppers. Or are you going to put a bullet in this box and blow us all up? I can put one on his head. You, drop it. I can get him from here. Drop it. Drop your gun or I drop this stuff. Do what he says. Go on, drop it. Okay, now you. Didn't it go off? That's only part of it. 40% ammonium nitrate. Need a detonator cap for that. I think he'll make it. Please. Ambulance. Radio for an ambulance. Well, I would. We're too close to the capsule stall. I can't use my radio. You wait here for the ambulance. All right, come on. Bring him along. See Highway Patrol again next week. Until then, remember, reckless driving doesn't determine who's right, only who's left. This is Roderick Crawford saying, see you next week.